February 29th, 2016. Minecraft 1.9 is released, and with it, a plethora of changes. New combat items and combat mechanics. An exciting new way to travel. Brand new mobs that defy the laws of gravity. And of course, new dungeons to loot. The end city dungeons can be found within the end dimension, usually explored after thwarting the almighty Ender Dragon. Last week, we discovered what one might find if they were to open up 1,000 dungeon chest loots within Minecraft Snapshot 16W21A, aka Minecraft 1.10. And I have to say, the results were something to behold. I mean, check these out, baby. That said, I decided it might be a good idea to take it a step further. For those that are unaware, if you are brave enough to venture into the alien structures known as the End City Dungeons, you may find yourself rewarded with some extra special loot, aka the End City Dungeon Loot. This is a loot table that was added in Minecraft 1.9 that also marked the revamp of all dungeon chest loots in general. And one unique aspect of the End City Dungeons is that if you were to go into the Minecraft game code and examine the MBT data associated with it, you would see that the End City loots have a chance of being enchanted with enchantments you could never, ever get with a plain old dungeon loot. You have a chance of getting enchantments that go up to level 39 from all different End City Dungeon chest loots. You cannot get this anywhere else in game. In addition, you can get special enchants on these weapons that you would not normally be able to get on any plain old enchantments via the treasure enchants. Finally, you'll note that there is a very limited number of types of items you can get from the End City Dungeon loots. Iron ingots, gold ingots, diamonds, emeralds, horse armor, saddles, everything else, weapons, and armor. All day, baby, and I decided it's time, people. We are going to open up 1,000 End City Dungeon Loots. Except this time around, as you can see, things look a little bit nicer and they're a little bit more organized. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs> look at this thing right behind me. See, I'm taking screenshots of it. That's how beautiful it is. This is the same dispensing system that we had over here in the original dungeon loot system, except each four of these are only going to dispense 250 chests each. So now we've got four dispensers running at all times instead of just one, and they are all now counting properly as well. So once they all hit 250, they all have their own scoreboard set and everything, the system will turn off. And in addition, since we are dealing with end city loot, which is substantially different from the regular dungeon loot, and even quite different from most of the other loot tables found in Minecraft 1.9, and currently all the other editions and future editions of the game, we have a different organization system set up. When it is dispensed over here, it actually will be teleported, depending on what item it is, into hoppers over here. So every single piece of armor is going to be sorted and placed into its own chest as well to be looked at once again. I did run a previous chest. We will be clearing all these, but as you can see, things look Beautiful! Oh, I can't wait. I'd also like to thank Magistein once again for helping with the construction of this beautiful machine, as well as a lot of the coding behind it. He's the brains, I'm the guy that thinks of the ideas, okay? That's the relationship. I'm the ideas, he's the brains, got it? Good. We're gonna let this baby run. Lesson learned, there's no reset, so I kept breaking the chest and then they just fall back in the hopper, so I had to manually take every single one out and then just slowly delete them all so now that we're good to go though we're gonna press reset for the last time we'll go ahead and go on this side and you can see that in terms of the item count we're going to go and reset that counter bada boom bada bing good to go and now we press start and you'll see in just a second you ready for this you ready for this you ready for this watch it begins let the count begin we'll see you in 250 times 4. Uh, we'll see 1,000 chests. And we are beginning to approach the finish of all the sorting. We just saw two of them, three of them. Looks like there's only one more. Curious to see. Is it on this last? Yep. Look at that. 1,000 chests and city loots. Four by 250 chests. And 
in half a second here. Come on. Come on. Come on! There we go. And now, if you'll excuse me, we are going to go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to break all these because no one wants to hear them, and we'll be on a merry way. So, what you're about to witness is absurdity. Full chests. All around the board, as we saw before, all scrambled up. Who knows what the enchantments are? That's what we're going to find out. Now, see, there's a very interesting problem I have here. How do I organize this? All the enchants are going to be random. You know what I mean? Watch. Let's look at the swords, for example. Like, knockback two, sharpness three, sharpness three fire aspect, knockback two, looting two. Do I loot it by, do I sort it by knockback? Do I sort it by looting? Do I sort it by knockback slash looting, etc.? So what I'm doing instead, and I think this will be interesting as well, I'm going to sort it by item enchantment amounts. So we're going to sort it by things that have one enchantment. And then two enchantments, and then three enchantments, and then four, etc. Because that seems to be the easiest way to do it. And there's really no other way to organize armor sets like this. But as you can see, look at this. One, two, two and a half. About two and a half, a little over two and a half double chests on average for every single... Ooh, three double chests of shovels plus the hoppers are full as well i have my work cut out for myself so i don't want to hear it okay i think sorting by enchantment amount is going to be just fine but if you are curious here's a quick item count to see what we have in front of us here we need to scroll a little bit again i'll make this so that you can see it all at once but that's the skinny we're going to organize it i'm going to organize the chests we'll be back well i mean we'll be back instantly but this is probably going to take me like three hours so if you haven't left a like on this video yet please do just because that will make my suffering that much more worth it hey so these final chest counts are very very impressive and i have to say it only took a measly oh six hours to organize everything and only like half look so we've done the following everything has been organized one enchantment followed by it goes up to two enchantments and then eventually gets to three enchantments and then eventually gets all the way up to four enchantments so for diamond helmets there was a total of 44 diamond helmets that only had one enchantment on them the most was 53 53 double enchantments check it out Lots of mending, lots of protection, lots of aqua affinity, lots of all of it. 44 1, 53 2 enchantments, 27 had 3 enchantments, and to wrap things up, 10 had a total of 4 enchantments across them. All right, there. Not bad. Now we move on to the diamond chest plates. A whopping 39, just kidding, that's actually not a high number. 39 chest plates had one enchantment the most commonly enchanted amount again with a whopping 66 was the double enchant two enchantments per 35 of them had three enchantments and then to wrap things up five of them had four enchantments so we got prop three on breaking mending and thorns usually you'll see mending on all the ones that had the four enchantments and typically it looks like they don't change too much in terms of what you're going to get on each one so helmets 44 53 27 10 chest plates 39 66 35 5 over the diamond leggings 47 with single enchantments 72 with double enchantments 72 it's a lot 37 with triple enchantments none with four enchantments i don't even think you can get four enchantments on diamond leggings because they don't have thorns and on feather falling etc etc now diamond boots there was a tie 48 had one enchantment and 48 also had two enchantments bada boom bada bing however the change comes with the triple enchantments which was only four 24 of those and then there were six that had four enchantments look at this prot i want to find a great one Ooh, ooh. Now, I think it's technically possible to get five enchants because we could have gotten, if I'm not mistaken, feather falling on these as well. Or if there was one that had frost walker, for example, we should have been able to. Ooh, you see? Look, perfect example. We could have got mending on this one, but we did not. Again, remember, these chests, these loot objects have a chance of getting a level 39 enchantment. So, 
Six with level four. We move on to the iron. We're gonna do this very quickly. Single enchants, 47. Double, we're 66. Take my word for it. I spent way too long to make up the numbers to lie to you. And of course, we had, what was it? Uh, I have it written down. 47, 66, 31 with three enchantments, five with four enchantments, similar to, <gasps> ooh, this one distracted me. This one's got five enchantments. I was gonna say, I didn't happen across too many. He distracted me. Then the numbers are all off. Just kidding. The helmet, just 30 with four, five, or one with five. Wow. What a helmet that is. Ooh, that could be excellent to have. We'll move on now to the iron, uh, iron chest plates. Yeah. Now, iron chest plates, 42 had single enchantments, 81. 81 had double enchants. That is the highest individual number amongst any of the items we received. 81 had double enchants, 25 had triple enchants, and again, we had a whopping 6 that had quadruple enchants. We'll move over to the iron leggings. Again, leggings that can only get a maximum of 3 enchants, so we had 47 with single enchants, we had 66 with double, and then we wrap up with 33 with triple. None with 4. A terrible shame, I'm telling you. Boots, similar story as the previous. 36... 73, 24, 5. You picking up what I'm putting down here? You starting to, is it starting to make sense to you? Those are the orders. Now we can go ahead and move on to the weapons and tools. Now, this doesn't have too much discrepancy between it either. We have here our diamond pickaxe. 32 of these had one enchantment. Um, where is it? Sorry. 50, 50, worst guy. I can't read at all. Worst human being. 54 had one enchantment, a f exactly one chest worth had single enchantments. Now, on top of that, we had 52 that had double. You'll see, look, it literally ends right there, and then this one ends, boom. 52 had double, 17 had three, and then only four had four enchantments. Kind of a rare guy. I'm just saying. What do we have next? We've got the shovels. Diamond shovels, similar story. 54, exactly a full chest. Next over, we had 69 enchants that were double enchants for the diamond show. This is actually, I believe, our most acquired object. We had over three double chests worth of diamond shovels. It was either diamond shovels, iron shovels, or iron boots, I believe. So, diamond shovels, 54, 69, 33 with three enchantments, three with four enchantments. You can see right there. Now, we have here the diamond sword, and this is where it gets exciting. You see, that helmet over there, that was interesting, because I could have swore. But all the same, 52 single enchantments. Mm -hmm. 64 double enchantments. Mm -hmm. 27 triple enchantments. Yes. 7 quadruple enchantments. But get this, folks. 5 enchants. I wish that was sharpness for sharpness for knockback to unbreaking fire aspect and looting we could have in theory got mending on there too for six enchants i wonder i wonder if that's possible i wonder if you can do that i have no idea that is the second five enchant item we got over this entire test now we've got iron pickaxes similar story iron pickaxes 50 with one enchant, 61 with two enchants, we had 32 with three enchants, we had 10 with four enchants, you can see here, bada boom, bada bing, shabba doo, shabba dee. Over here, we've got the shovels next, and then look, oh, uh, you see? Look at that, another three double, actually, I think, I think there was a tie, I believe there was a tie between iron shovels and diamond shovels as to what we had the most of. Now, dime, or iron shovels, simple. 55, 67, 37, 9. Should have just read these off like this for the rest one. Final chest in terms of item count. We have our iron swords. Now the iron swords, 45, 66, 36 with 3, 7 with 4, 1 with 5 once again. Unbreaking 3, sharpness 4, knockback 2, mending, fire aspect 2, needs looting 3 on there, then it would be the ultimate sword. All in all, a huge amount of armor pieces. A grand total of 2,061 total pieces of armor, which means you should expect to get, on average, two pieces of armor and then some per end city dungeon chest loot you find. Speaking nothing, of course, of the numerous iron gold ingots, beetroots. <laughs> 
cares about beer receipts. Diamonds, saddles, emeralds, and horse armors that you can pick up when you are looting these babies. I want to know if y'all want to see one final chess video where we show off all the other dungeons we have not yet shown off in one video. Mesa, uh, no, I don't know, there isn't a Desert Pyramid, uh, Jungle Temple, Mine Shit, you know what I mean? Everything we haven't covered. We've covered NC Dungeons, we've covered regular dungeons. Smash those ratings, baby, if you want to see one finale where we do all of them in one. It's going to take so much work. This video took like twice as long as the previous one. Please show your support. Thank you so much for subscribing as well so you can see more fun little gaming informative videos where we break down the sciences behind what is made your favorite game exactly what it is today. And again, thank you for leaving a like. Have a great day, my friends, and get to looting those dungeons.